Good afternoon to the peasants of the world. You are here with Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, actually. Leah would usually say, Is Leah E back, back with Leah another E? Another v? We're not doing that today. We're doing a more classy today. Queen Elizabeth is here to stay. <laughs> We are here with another video. Now, I have tucked Leo away for a while. You know, today we're going to do the classy style, okay? So, um, I'm just actually thinking about how I have to walk to the hair store and I really don't want to do that. Hmm. I've got to find the means of transportation. Hmm. But anyway, okay, boom. Today's video, we will be doing the half up, half down, famous claw clip hair style, okay? Now I'm pretty sure you could already see this one, it's getting a little old, so, you know, we've got to tend to that. Still very intact, but I'm pretty sure in this video today, with the half up, half down claw clip hair style, I am choosing to do the crochet method this time, okay? Now showing the viewers very different methods of, of execution, shall I say. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so that being said, we have to take ourselves to the hair store. Now I am hoping that when I wash out my hair, that the color of burgundy doesn't really dry out so much because I know that happened last time because this is a semi-permanent hair dye that Leah has used so now that being said if you haven't seen Leah's other videos you know she posts or whatever so you should go and see them I'm pretty sure she made the dazzle out of them okay so the process of execution will be to part Somewhere, actually, the part should be somewhere around here, I believe. And what's going to happen is half of that around here will be braided down and then crocheted to where the middle part is then put in a ponytail. Okay, then after that, to be inserted, then you've got the pony, pony, and then the front part here, I will slip back. And then boom, I'm, I know y'all can see the style. Just, just, just imagine. So, now you're on this journey with Queen Elizabeth herself. I'm glad you shall join me. Her Majesty's excited. I'm so excited! I see y'all on the flip or whatever Leah says. You know, I had to put my, what's, what did it say? Members only. You already know. I already got it on me. Keep the taste on me. We also go on this walk. Let go. Get into it. Wait, let's do some poses. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always hitching up with a pose. I'm always hitching up with a pose. Okay, anyways. Um, so now the next thing really is to... Um, oh! I'm about to party with that both the hot comb and the flat iron is all in here. Um, you know that's what we're about to get into. So and 
Let me see y'all on the flip. is a part in behind my ear you know just trying to get the foundation as per usual um boom like look at that look at that look at that on the first try like that's perfect <laughs> is about to be the ponytail i don't want a lot in the middle but i don't want too little either um i only know no blah please keep your desk close um that for the most part looks good um but let me see yeah okay y'all let's get this started Making my TikTok. If you don't have a name, you should pull the name. You can link it in the description. But not just link it in the description. But it's on the top of right. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to TikTok. Okay. Yeah, this one's looking. Uh, I'm going to have to go on RC my little knee. So definitely be on. Okay. Now I'm going to just wrap this right here. And I'm going to just let that sit while I braid the back. That's next. Oh, look, I just like it. You're going to get it. Boom. Okay, so what's happening now is I just finished the back of it, as you can see. You know. <laughs> Yo, and how long you been doing hair? Um, uh, for like three years. Yeah, that's cute. Can you turn around for me? Nice, nice little cornrows. I did tuck it on the top, so I crocheted the rest of the braid into the braid. Um, I don't know how they look. They probably look horrendous. Yeah. But you know, we only do a crochet, so that's that, you know. But, anyways, okay, so boom, now we gotta get the hair. <laughs> I actually forgot to do a little store haul for you, so I'm gonna do it right now, okay? Keep protecting. I got the cream because I couldn't find the spray, and then I ended up finding the spray, and then I got both, yeah. So that's that. Then I, you know, got the famous got to be. Uh, or that was actually already here, but oh well. I, I y'all already know I got my sofa eight. I always get my sofa eight. Um, ebbing for them edges, scissors, and I got me some bobby pins for the sides. I'm gonna use them to clip them in the back. So these are the colors that I got. I got this like actual burgundy, but then this is the other hair. It's a little tangled in it. And this hair is a lot closer to my actual hair. And then it has the burgundy, full burgundy at the end. So we're about to get into the crochet, you know. It's really long. Yeah. But yeah, we're about to get started. I'm gonna see you on the flip. I'm actually hungry. This is my favorite Arizona, y'all.
Somebody do that for me. Anyways, I'm saying sometimes it can feel like. Sometimes it could feel like we're supposed to have a purpose in life. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. And then other times it feels like, bro, why can't we just relax? Like, why does life have to be hard for me? Like, then I think about, hmm, if we was. Um, you know, living happily ever after, you know, peaceful as we would say, and like didn't do anything, like didn't have a job. The economy probably wouldn't work the same, definitely. And a lot of human beings are lazy. So there's also that. There's also, but then I don't think humans are lazy. I think we're more so taught to be lazy. I think being lazy becomes a habit, you know? I don't think, I, I think humans can be trained to like, want to be on their feet every day, you know? And I think that we just get like, used to only doing work when it comes to someone else's terms, that when it comes to doing it ourselves, it seems so difficult. You know, I think that's what it really is. But just going back to the fact of like, you know, I just be thinking like, why is this is it the scale of money or or like you know trading or that's what it ends up going back to and then it's like like why do they become so important but you know like why do we need it this bad and if anything hasn't it done more worse than good and it's like of course like I want money, or not money. Of course I'm abundant in money. And I believe that money's always there. I believe money's everywhere around you. You know, money's, you know, sitting right next to you. You can make money off of anything. But it's also like, okay, so like if that's, but then if that's true, then like society wouldn't be the way it is. So then it makes you think, okay, so it's not as easy to maintain it as we think it is. Um, it just ends up, you know, like, why does that end up determining how I live my life, you know? Because a lot of people are confined to their money. Like, a lot of people won't admit it, but a lot of people do not do the things that they want to do because of the fact that they feel like they don't have enough money to do it. So if they did it, it would end up being something like, you know, they lost that money. Now they, I guess they can't pay their food or their rent, their bills and stuff like that. Like, that's what they end up worried about, you know, in the long term. But it's like, you could die any day. And that money not gonna go with you. Or does it? Because um, technically the Egyptians, you know, they sent their people off with gold. According to the story, they sent their people off with gold to the afterlife, you know, I guess so they could be abundant in the afterlife too. But then maybe it's not afterlife. Maybe it's really reincarnation. I feel like afterlife may be misused probably now that I'm thinking about it. And maybe it's like actually the afterlife that you're going to, we're gonna give you some jewels to go with you spiritually. So when you end up in that afterlife, you're wealthy. So you don't have to struggle to get up. What if that's it? You know, that would make a lot of sense. Healthy queen. Yay! That was me going on my little rant of like, what is life like? That's the real question. What is your definition of life, y'all? Look at this. Okay, now. I'm gonna see y'all in the flip. I'm gonna finish this. Let's get to it. Ooh, y'all. Look at how it's looking. Yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Step up, step up. For real, step up. Ooh, ooh, no one. Step up. Like, I just love me some hair. Like, 
some bundle, some weave, some extension. Look at that. Quality, quality, quality for Her Majesty. So basically, what I'm about to do now is get to slicking this back. And I'm gonna try to make it more back here. Like to where it goes like right there. So I can pin it up. Okay. Yeah, let's get to it. I did braid my hair and then now I am starting on the pony. I'm gonna try to use a bit of both hair. take to get it out back all my niggas outside stay bitch me out back what nikki said i know what the f you're doing she said i don't care how long it took fuck okay wait. Yeah. you're not gonna Fine. disrespect my legacy okay. that's what I'll the f you do ain't it. gonna okay. do okay get him the f what? Out. okay okay wait. i don't care how long it take to get it out back all my niggas outside stay bitch me out back like that verse was so like captivating. I don't think you understand. Yes, I'm a Nikki Stan for all y'all hating. Nikki, my girl. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you, she is girl. She's girl. But 
You can turn my music to trash, you will go right there. It can never be. Even her trash songs ain't trash, like. I feel like nothing never be trash, so. Boom. Getting sweet, y'all. Getting sweet, y'all. Guten Morgen to you peasants. It's Queen Leah back with them. A hair review. <laughs> okay, it is 9.52 a.m. This is me, call me freaky tea. Anyways, but let me unwrap this for y'all before my time run out. <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay, let's get into it. Wait. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, what the hell? It's like opening a present, right? <laughs> So I wrapped this, this is my first scarf, you know, I always got pink, I always love me some pink, you already know that, but anyways, okay, so we will take the black scarf off, mm -hmm. and look at this y'all, boom, look how slick that is, wait, 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 <laughs> look how slick it is, look, using got to be an Evian, Evian, you already know, those are my favorite products, I mean Evan, not got to be. But look at that, and then this is the ponytail, and then boom, it gets flipped just like that, and it looks so perfect. I'm gonna show y'all it flip, but this is this. Ooh, this is my hairstyle itself. Like, okay, 